Bonjour. Here we go. We're going to mix this song. I can't wait. I'm sitting in front of one of the best sounding consoles I've ever heard in my entire life. I have not mixed something on flying faders automation in many years. I can't wait to get into that, doing that again. We've had a fantastic time here at Sunset Sound in Studio One. And I can't wait to put this through its paces. We're going to split everything out across the console. Um, I'm going to make it a hybrid thing of some plugins and a bunch of, you know, analog gear. And I mean, look at this. The EQ. Yeah, there's, I've, I've never seen so many 550As in a row. We're going to use a whole bunch of analog outboard gear, a bunch of parallel processing, analog mix bus. There's a crazy EQ over there that says Warner Brothers on it. I've never seen it in my life. I want to try that in the mix bus. I have a plan B if that doesn't work out. Let's get our hands dirty and begin. So what I'm going to do right now is just sort of build a balance on the console. And I'm going to loop course two. Oh, just console noise. So what I'm going to do right now, because I was like put, kind of putting faders where I think they should be. Even my console make no, makes noise too when you crank things, but it, it's always help when if, I, if I give it enough level from Pro Tools. And I remember at some point, I pulled all the Pro Tools stuff way down and I may have done it too much. So I think I'm going to try feed more level into the console, which will reduce the noise floor and make me a happier camper. So I'm going to create sort of a macro group here. Okay. Group all stuff. Create a VCA. Assign it to the group called all stuff. I'm going to turn everybody up. A lot. 6 dB, something like that. supposed to be this way it follows me down every road always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be
So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the high end I was adding on a plugin I really love, the FabFilter Pro Q2. And I'm going to add some high end on the 550A that's in front of me times a billion on the uh, acoustic guitar. Just check that out for a bit. Of course, the magic of analog is that not everything works all the time. So um, we're going to find one that does. Okay. This one seems okay. But just okay, it's just 15. 15. Yeah. All right, cool. I have to kill the uh, power supply to the EQs real quick. So. Okay. Looping this section, I am looping the last chorus. Go, and I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. I swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed. Yeah. I'm trying to add the put the vocal through the chamber. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I'm only hearing it on the left side. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Nothing there. Let's take a listen. Okay. So go and I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. I swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm away. I'm supposed Let's take a look here. You know what? Also, just, just so you know, when I muted the PCM70, almost all the, that noise went away. Really? Yeah, it's huh. super noisy. Okay. And the, pl the plate is a little bit noisy, but the PCM70 is like crazy noisy. I don't think I need it either. I can just pull it. Okay. Go and. What have I done? Sweat follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know.
let's send some some stuff to the 33609. Basically, uh, let's see, kick, snare, and bass, acoustic guitar. Cool. And this affects what we're sending, right? Yes. So what, where are we at now? So right now we've got the kick, snare, bass, and the acoustic guitar feeding the bus. We're monitoring the bus, and these are removed from the stereo bus so that we're not going to hear them. But then once you don't want to monitor that anymore, I'll just have to go back and throw these into the stereo bus. I see. But at least we've ascertained that like this is what's being sent to the compressor, right? Correct. Absolutely, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cool. That's good. I, I I prefer that to like I want it to mirror what's happening here. Okay, great. Alrighty. So where is this three from six nights through there? Right over here. Can we, is this is that multi mono? I love the Neve 33609 compressor. 
I also love the UAD plugin of it. They're both fantastic. Um, they're just sort of magic music making boxes. And so I love to send kind of things that I want to feel like kind of more exciting and just poke out in the mix to it and then blend that back in. So I sent the kick drum, the snare drum, and the bass guitar and Bryce's acoustic guitar to it, pretty aggressively compressing and just playing with blending that back in. And uh, I love what it does. It just adds this sort of like funk in the trunk. It just brings out the best quality of what's already there. It makes it sound a bit more recordy. Well, actually a lot more recordy and uh, it's exciting. That's really one of the first sort of like things I've done in terms of like processing mixy kind of technique stuff to this song. It's just that. And I've got her vocal going through the live chamber, which I'm still kind of playing with, starting to make some noise here.
Um, I'm a real fan of working at different volume levels. Normally, I don't work that loud. And, you know, it's always like trying to maintain perspective and objectivity, which is the first thing that goes out the window when you listen to a piece of music five times or more. You know, I'm just trying to achieve balances and bringing things in. I still don't have everything really in the mix, but most of it's there. And the lead vocal, after I'd sort of like added some zhuzh and some just sort of fun to the drums and everything else, the lead vocals sounded a bit sonically a little plain compared to everything else. And so I, I knew I wanted to get into some API EQ. And I turned the speakers down pretty quietly, was listening very, just trying to be very objective, get the vocal level right, and then start messing with the EQ that just felt right. And I, I'm really not scientific with this stuff. I just sort of move, you know, I'm turning up the gain and I'm changing the frequencies and just seeing where it feels like, oh, that's a fit. There's always like a little, tiny little light bulb that goes off and it's like oh that feels right and so that's what i'm always searching for with all of this stuff it's just whenever i feel that that then i leave it and then i'll move on to something else but turning it way down not super duper quiet but like pretty quiet we could easily talk over it helps me stay fresh and then actually what i had done after that is i felt like i got kind of a nice balance and i turned it up and it's it's too bottomy which sounds great at a really quiet level so it's important to turn things up to and see what they feel like loud. Also super important to listen to something that you can trust. You know, if you're listening to speakers that have no bottom end, I wouldn't know that. So you either find some great headphones or you invest in speakers that uh, are telling you enough of the truth to help you do this. So I want to try sending the lead vocal to a parallel 1176 and uh, see what that does. House number zip codes, birthdays, and airplane votes. I can never pass them by. I, I, I rearrange them, add them up, multiply till I find luck. Anything to call it a sign. And maybe I'm out of my mind. I see my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Always shows up just when I need to know That I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be House numbers, zip codes, birthdays and airplane votes I can This is so much fun! Uh, I'm doing two buttons in on the 1176, the two bottom buttons, which is typically a very over-the-top rock kind of thing. But it also sort of turns it into a limiter, and it's just really sparkly and full of life and really aggressive, and it's really fun to blend that in with the, with the vocal. Um, and it just already sounds like crazy good. House numbers, zip codes, birthdays, and airplane votes. I don't have to do anything else to the vocal, I don't think. It's like EQing the vocal. It just turns it into a record. 1176s are amazing. Even the Bomb Factory 1176 plugin sounds great. I mean, they just all sound great. The new UAD ones sound great. Every older one sounds great. They are magic, magic, magic boxes. I always said to myself, if I ever met Jeff Emmerich, the Beatles engineer, uh, I would immediately ask him, is it true that you, before you start a mix, you strap two 1176s across the stereo bus before you do anything? And I did get to meet him uh, several times, actually. And, and I immediately asked him that, and he just went straight down the rabbit hole with me. We linked arms and jumped all the way down. And he started talking about the mine in England where a certain kind of nickel came from. Or I hope I'm not wrecking the details, but... Then they changed mines and they were using this mineral from some other mine. It didn't sound the same. And he said, I know people think I'm crazy when I say that stuff, but he's like, I was there when it happened and I could hear the difference. And he's just totally ascribed to that compressor. And uh, I can't believe that um, they were found in dumpsters of radio stations in the 80s because they were used on all kinds of broadcast uh, radio and TV stations. And everyone thought they were useless. People would go like, literally to the dumpster behind a little local radio station and find it for 1176s and just take them away. Anyway, back to the mix. 
I have no idea how to work that Warner Brothers EQ, but I really want to see what it sounds like. Should we just mess with it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much just like um, increasing frequencies, decreasing look at those frequencies. Lights. I mean, doesn't that look fun? <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, and we've got that across the the, the two mix. House numbers, zip codes, birthdays, and airplane votes. I can never pass them by. Is there, a, is there a bypass? Is there a bypass? Okay, um, so I think this might be it right here. I, like, I said we just got this, so I'm not sure. Okay, so this is EQ. So it is up and down. It's super fun, but let's put in the uh, the, the um, curb bender okay. instead. We tried. We did, and it looks so cool. <laughs> New city, no doubt. Two weeks to get off my friend's couch. Cut any close, but I'll be fine. I think I found my high dream apartment with all I ever wanted. Turned out it could have been a closet. Feels like nothing's going right But the second I look at the time I see my lucky number everywhere I go And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Always show So something I'm going to do to the background vocals And I learned this years ago <laughs> from Chris Lord Algae When I would pummel him with questions when I got to work with him for the first few times that we worked together, we worked together a lot over the years. He said that he likes his background vocals to be to have more teeth and to be more compressed than the lead vocals, so that you can turn them down where they should be level wise. But they're very consistent; they don't go away. They don't, you know, they're just kind of like there, just like a support, like a hug. So I'm gonna experiment with making them as bright as I can get them without wrecking it, and then turn them way down. And let's just let's see if that works. It probably will, but. Let me, let me try. See my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. See my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. See my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. See my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when I need to know that I'm where. I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be See my lucky number everywhere I go And it comes in and out And I know I'm where I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be Do you want to swap it? Yeah, cool. me down yeah. Every yeah, it's coming in and out Okay <gasps> So that's left background Yes, All right. yeah, the right one's cool House numbers, zip codes, birthdays and airplane boats Pass them by. I, 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 I rearrange them, add them up, multiply till I find luck. I see my lucky number everywhere I go, 
And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Always shows up just when I need to know That I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be I am I see my lucky number everywhere I go And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Always shows up just when I need to know That I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm where I'm supposed to be I'm I am I see my lucky number everywhere I go And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm Scooping out 300. Adding a little five. I think that's going to be better. I am, I see my lucky number everywhere I go. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Shows up just when I need to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be. I'm I am. I see my lucky number everywhere I go, and I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. Always shows up just when.
Okay, Zach, help me out here. How do I... I want to solo the keys. Yep. And I want to send them to the plate. Sure. Will I hear that in solo mode? Like, will I hear that as well, or do I have to solo the plate? Uh, you'll have to solo the plate, okay. too. Okay, cool. Yep. But I'll be fine 
Right now, I am bouncing the answers that Bryce came up with today in the bridge because they got recorded to the same tracks as a bunch of other background vocal tracks, and I want them to have their own processing. Looks like it worked. So now I'm going to mute these. And then I can throw some sort of stuff on it in here. So I'll make sure it's coming out the right thing. 21, 22. Let's see what happens here. Where I'm supposed to be. So I want to compress those a bit and then wash them out with something. So it's a real scene change in the bridge. Maybe I'm a little lost, but I've got something that I can count on. When I'm not looking, it's right in front of me. Maybe I'm a little lost, but I've got something that I can count on When I'm not looking, it's right in front of me Maybe I'm a little lost, but I've got something that I can count on when I'm not looking, it's right in front of me. Maybe I'm a little lost, but I've got something that I can count on when I'm not looking. It's right in front of me
supposed to be. Maybe I will. I will. I'm supposed to be. I've got something. Maybe I'm supposed, supposed to be. And I'm not looking. That's where right right I'm supposed to be.
So it's starting to sound like something. It's starting to sound like the record I was hoping for without any sort of like lots of minutia is missing. Once I got sort of a good balance, a good enough balance, I wanted to hear what the smart compressor that's built into the console here, what that sounded like. I used to own them for years. I love them. I like all of them. I really like the C2. It's like an SSL, slightly on steroids. And then there is a, a Chandler curve bender here in the room. And we tried that Warner Brothers EQ, and it looks ridiculously cool. I didn't like the sound of it. It was too, um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I didn't like it. So we plugged in the curve bender, and I love that thing. I used to own one for years. I don't know why I ever sold it. Scooped out a little bit of 300. That's an old disco trick. Added some real super tippy top, like 20K, I think, uh, 1 dB at 20K, and uh, added a little 3 something, I think, 3K, and then added a pretty significant amount of bottom low, I think maybe 50 hertz, or at least two, possibly four. And then I rolled out a little bottom on the filters, which is a mastering trick, which is fun to experiment with, you know, adding an EQ and then also filtering it out at the same time. It creates interesting curves and Gives you a lot of, I mean, tape does that. Tape gives you a bump, you know, not super, super subby low, but like what, 100 hertz, 80 hertz maybe, and then it really dives off, but it gives you the impression that there's actually more bottom, but it's, it's, uh, it's very managed. So do you want to sit and hear it? Mm -hmm. I'm still like kind of not getting into any sort of detail, okay. but just sort of like macro overall sound. The volume is that black knob there. House numbers, zip codes, birthdays, and airplane votes. I can never pass them by. I, 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 I rearrange them, add them up. Multiply till I find luck Anything to call it a sign And maybe I'm out of my mind I see my lucky number everywhere I go And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Swear it follows me down every road Always shows up just when I need to know Two weeks 
Like I'm a long way away from it yeah. being done, but just the overall vibe yeah. feels really good to me. It feels really cool. Good. It feels really cool. The only thing I'm curious about is the electric guitar in the intro. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if it feels too twangy, kind of leaning. It's the only thing. That really like, ooh. Yeah. Sounds twangy here. Or like. There's probably too much going on. It all sounds too loud to me, too. Yeah. Birthdays and airplane boats. I can never pass them by. I, I, I rearrange them, add them up. It's a lot. I, so I miss the simplicity of how it used to start. I think it needs something. Yeah, it's like too much yeah. of a cool thing. Good, or I don't know. And maybe I'm out of my mind. And I see my lucky number everywhere I go. Let me dive in. And I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Swear it follows me down every road. It was really helpful to me to have the artist, to have Bryce come in and listen, even though I'm nowhere near done. But it, I felt it was presentable. Um, and to get her feedback on it and just, you know, there's so much you can pick up on from someone's energy, just like body language and just kind of a general sort of intuition of like, you know, you can tell if someone doesn't like it most of the time. And I felt like she was digging it and I'd done something to the vocals, the, the answer vocals in the bridge, the, the specific kind of processing where I bounce that to a stereo file and put some Valhalla plate on it and um, the Shadow Hills mastering compressor plug-in, the UAD plug-in and got that sitting to where I really liked it. And when it came in, she turned to me, she's like, sounds cool. So that was like, that worked. And then she had some valuable input in saying that in the intro, the guitars were distracting. She wasn't feeling it. And just to have that like other set of ears, cause it's her record, it's her name on the record, you know? Um, I want to love it, but I also equally really want her to love it. And she will hear things and have observations and, and have a level of objectivity that I never will because it's, you know, this is, this is her baby. So that was helpful. And it's made me focus on doing rides and minutia. As soon as she said that, I started hearing all these little things I wanted to boost and cut in automation land. So that's where I'm going to go now. <laughs> 